I'm Lance Larson, and I'll be reading my poem, Things I'm Against. Against French fries, against dyed mums at graves and cars painted orange, though I love that same shade in macaws and tangerines. Against windmills and microwaves, against suede shoes and season tickets to anything. Against rhubarb, against hockey, with apologies to my Canuck son-in-law. Not a big fan of golf, though I love the word mulligan, oozy with second chances. I'll take a mulligan on my last sprinkler repair. My write-in vote for Gloria Steinem on every article of clothing I wore to celebrate 1776, especially my Liberty Bell dress shirt. I'm pro-oxygen and gravity and oxbow lakes and other science stuff, including continental drift. Anyone can see it plain on a map. South America hoping again to snuggle up to Africa like hungry high schoolers at a drive-in. But I'm against the razzle-dazzle of the northern lights. They jack you up with optimism, sure, but it never lasts. I used to wax rhapsodic concerning wasps till I saw one lay its nasty eggs inside a living caterpillar, thus giving baby wasps something to nosh on from day one. Not on my porch, you don't. Against pin the tail on the donkey. Though I loved Mooney, half loony, Mrs. Luanna Lolliton, who baked money into birthday cupcakes, devil's food clinging to filthy dimes and nickels. And please, 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 let my secret coin be a quarter. I'm usually against Shelley, sometimes Wordsworth, never against Keats, unless you count Endymion, and over the moon happy with a goth girl in Rome who selected a pea-sized pebble from Keats's grave, rinsed it in iced tea, and popped it into her mouth like ecstasy. I'm against armed robbery. Who is it? but love the story of the phantom crew two towns away who stole over 40,000 apples from an orchard overnight. Think of it. A dozen pickers, a mega truck or two, banks of lights, maybe a generator. That's a lot of chutzpah and clever HR and cosmic crisps to cram in your pockets. Of course, I'm against cancer, especially brain cancer which did a number on Sky, age three, next door. Her six-year-old sister said, why in a grave? Can't we just keep her in the corner in the playroom and change her hat each morning? Again, seances too, all those fake ghost voices, but all in on impromptu chats with the dead, especially my dad. Why didn't you make me go fishing with you? I would have picked it up. Teach me to tie a sheep shank. How should I read this hatch? I know you're listening. Why won't you interfere in my life? Tell me again how it felt to pass through the Panama locks on a destroyer on Christmas Eve. When will you pass through me? Bring your whetstone. Show me how to spit on knives and bring an edge to every rusty blade.